Hello everybody, this is Kyra for more Let's Play Legacy of Goku 2. Stop at the globe. And now we've got to do this stupid side quest. God, this part sucks. Let's see how I can do this in a single video. Nope. Alright, once more. Oh, now you done fucked up, son. Just do a double check. Oh, you get to die just because you're there. Hate this fucking part. Everyone hates this part. Can I just... No... And no, I wasn't trying to blow up the generator, I was trying to smoosh the eggs. See, my problem is I ran forward too soon. There we go. We're gonna be at this all day. Chef Piccolo's Omelette Adventure. Hey, be nice, you two. Jumped the gun, and I have to do this three fucking times. Do these game designers seriously ever play their fucking games? Stop. Because I have I'm of the mind that they in fact do not. Or they would have realized this is not conducive to good gameplay. This shit ain't fun. if I've actually explored down there or not. It doesn't matter, I suppose. Wrong direction. Out of patience with y'all shit. Yeah, once I get to a certain point, it just takes over Piccolo for me. Oh, Winky, I really don't want you to sit on my phone, sweetheart. That is actually quite bad. 
Also, you flipped over for my stopwatch. There we go. Progress, she has been made. What level am I? Am I 30 yet? I am not. Oh well, I'm close. If nothing else, I can go back to the Vegeta room and do shit like that. Lauren. But say, I thought it was kind of weird to have a save room without rocks to recharge on, because that's kind of how save rooms work in this game. There's always rocks in save rooms and boss rooms so that you can power back up, recover what you lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, god damn it. And you're dead just because you look like the guy who punched me. Hate this part of the game. This part of the game is the suck part of the game. There is a very, very, very good reason why I didn't just continue last time. This is why. This has taken me seven minutes so far. Seven minutes to drop eggs. Eggs! Seven minutes for this bullshit. Seven and a half, basically. Could I have done that? Sure, but it shouldn't take me seven fucking minutes to do this. Fuck you, lady. If this game would allow me to, I would kill you and your brood for what you just put me through. And it's bullshit that it's Piccolo of all people. You know, one of the few characters shown to use eye beams. I didn't need my hands to fight back. Alright, final thing. Oh, I guess that's all I needed. Quit it! Quit fighting! These three are gonna drive me nuts. Oops. Damn it. Punch. Ah! Oh, fucking missed that. Almost. Just double check. Yeah, it's just a straight shot to the right. And uh, is this just up? No, I think there's one more to the left, and then I'm up. Or not straight shot to the right. And you, fuck, you know what directions I'm talking about. So you think it's fun to get stun locked, huh? Haven't gone this way. Let's go this way. Oh, hello.
that could have went worse. Damn it. Double damage. Ow. There we go, level 29. One more to go, and I can explore the piccolo door. I honestly, I honestly expected that to work faster. An instant kill quick, if you would. Yeah, TFS has been playing uh, Budokai 2 and making fun of the fact that Piccolo in that game has an attack called the instant kill quick. Oh, there's 19's pod next to 18. Punch. Vegeta's being mocking and Trunks is kind of deadly serious there. It's kind of funny because 16 is stronger than both of them. Well, technically all three of them. Punch. Punch bean. I love that the way that was done, he basically shot Piccolo in the face. <laughs> Damn it, I was kind of hoping I was Vegeta now. Oh well. I'll probably gain another level shortly, and then I can do the Piccolo Door, which I would love to get to in this video. So, oh, that's a save point, isn't it? No. It's a flight pad. 
Well, let's look for capsules first. <laughs> I know whose door that is. I think. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Fly! To the road! For the record, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball Z, first off, why are you watching something like this? Secondly, this this is something they actually did in the show. He decides, fuck it, I want to drive because I've never driven a car before. So they steal a fucking truck. Well, a van. Did you just say Goku? In case you're wondering, he refused on the grounds that Piccolo is not Goku. That's the sole reason he doesn't care. Note that unlike 19 and 20, she's not an absorber, so I can basically sit there and do this all day. Not that it does nearly enough damage to a boss. Did enough damage to a boss. Ow. That fight actually never happened in the show. In the show, Vegeta fought 18 and she broke his arm, and then everyone else jumped in except Krillin, and 17 single handedly fucked them up. And on this subject earlier of TFS, I want to say I love how Team Four Star did 17. They made him such a fun character. Which, to be fair, they made all three of these androids fun, but 17 was kind of a cocky little shit in DBZ. And in DBZA, he's just fun. He just he, he's so powerful that he doesn't give a shit, so he's just a guy having fun. Not even necessarily homicidal fun. In the show, it was uh, the reason he went after Goku is 16. It's like, oh, I want to kill Goku. It's like, okay, we'll start with Goku. In DBZA, he's like, oh, well, he, he wants to kill Goku, so we're going to kill Goku, you know? Piccolo is about to become super broken. Yeah, he kind of is. And the sad thing is, if not for Cell, this would have worked. Because Piccolo, or shall we call him Kamekolo for this, was strong enough to fight six or 17. Maybe not 18, but that part wouldn't have mattered because by the time 18 jumped into shit, Vegeta and Trunks would have been out and they'd have made short work of her and her brother. Because they, they pretty much wrecked Cell's shit after he absorbed them. Alright, I think I can get at least one more Senzu bean from Corrin before the fish thing happens. Mm. 
No, looks like I was wrong. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. I've still got two, I think. I barely used the ones I had. Yep, still got two. So I'm still good. I'm good for now. What? My first Namek! Ow. Glad I explored now. Hello, Mr. Popo. I don't think there are any capsules up here, but then again, I didn't think there was a Namek up here either. They actually kind of are. At least those three. 19 and 20 were dicks. And now I think I take over Trunks, I'm guessing. That's that's all. Well, no, I still need Gogo, but so that's all five of the main characters. No, and sixteen could give less of a shit. He doesn't care. I just want to double check a thing real quick. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I thought that's what I thought. It, it basically stuns people. What level am I? 27, not bad. Now, there was a trunk store somewhere. I didn't think it was here. It would appear that I'm right. So, uh, yeah, he starts with his. I don't need to go to Roshi for him. Punch. Now before I do anything else, we're gonna look for some trunk stores. I wanna see if his level 30 door is up yet. Wrong button, you tard. There's Vegeta. I think Piccolo is flat out locked right now. Goku door. Oh, that's the lookout. Never mind. Southern Continent. It's probably here. The Piccolo door, I mean.
Don't tell me the door's not gonna show up at all. It should show up. I mean, come on, the Goku door showed up, right? I don't even have Goku yet. Shit, that was nothing. Well, we'll we'll do this just to unlock it. And because I'm pretty sure Bulma will upgrade the scouter soon. So. I think it's over here. And if Bulma upgrades the scouter, that'll show me the doors I'm missing. Hey, Edroby. You got another one? No. No. Let me just double check on the Piccolo thing. Yep, he's out. So is Vegeta, so I couldn't even be him either. Well, I don't recall this area being that big, so let, let's have some fun. Of this area. Okay. Up oh, there's my level 50 door. No, oh, that's Gohan. Never mind. Oh, I was wrong. There we go, level 28. So yeah, that one trunk store that I found way back when is obviously a level 30. find some rocks. Those are not rocks. Those are not rocks at all. So let's do a quick charge up. Gotta do this the, the way I don't want to do. Eat a bean. Eat a bean or be killed by bears. And that absolutely would have done it, too. It would have been the end of Future Trunks. Here we go. It's a Pokeball.
There we go. There's my save point. Let's just expand the plot a little bit. There we go. One more level and I can go to that trunk store that I found way back when. Ow. To the up. isn't it? Ah, these are guys I can handle without problems. They don't really fight back that much. Alright, I really gotta find this place soon. Almost certainly up, but let's fill out the map some more. Oh, hello! Hello, Mr. Friend. And that is the map. One more. Actually, great attack if you're just fighting singles, you know. Especially since they can't keep backstepping. Ah, here we go. It is kind of nasty. And we're going to stop here. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.